and welcome to Geeking Out with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. I am super excited for today's video. This is another Gadgets and Gizmos of Plenty. This is the October edition. And this was put together by Mary and Tony over at the Sisketeer. So there are a lot of YouTubers taking part in this collaboration. And the purpose is for us to share a collection we haven't shared before. It doesn't have to be Disney, which means that the possibilities are endless. For this month edition of Gadgets and Gizmos of Plenty, I decided to share with you guys my Hocus Pocus collection. I love Hocus Pocus and I am just so excited that in the recent years we've had more and more Hocus Pocus merchandise come out and as you can see I am totally rocking my Hocus Pocus spirit jersey from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party back in 2018 and I am also rocking these Hocus Pocus inspired ears. These were made by Lydia over at Vintage Nectarines. She gifted me these ears during the year of the year Disney Villains September edition swap and if you haven't seen that video I'm gonna link it right here so that you can see some more details on these ears I think these ears are absolutely gorgeous but today not only are you seeing this but I'm also gonna show you my Hocus Pocus pins Funko Pops and other Hocus Pocus goodies that I have so Keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this shirt right here. It's a tank top that I got over at Spirit Halloween. And it says, I am the fourth Sanderson sister. So it is a tank top, but it also has a cape attached to it. And the cape says, Amok Amok. I actually wore this to Disney World last year during last year's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. And I thought it was super, super, super fun to wear. Next item I am going to show you, I got back in 2018. And it is this super cute Hocus Pocus ornament. I don't display it on my Christmas tree, but I actually display it on my console table in my foyer as part of my Halloween decoration. And here we have a closer look and it's a little hard to appreciate because of the glare from the light. This was celebrating 25 years of Hocus Pocus and it lights up. I turned off one of my lights so you can see it a little better. next item I am going to show you is from 2019 is from last year's Mickey's not so scary Halloween party we have ears I think these ears are really 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 pretty I love that the ears have sequins on them so they are sparkly and we have the cauldron in the middle and it's this hocus pocus villain spectacular And this is 2019 on the headband. And Magic Kingdom on the other side. And in the middle we see what it appears to be bubbles. Because there's something brewing or boiling in there. Alright, so the next item I am going to show you. It's my only bag by Loungefly. I have said before that I don't have any Loungefly bags just yet. But what I'm going to show you is not necessarily a bag, but a clutch. And I grabbed this last year during last year's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. And it is an absolute beauty. Let me show you. So this is a clutch. This is the spell book from Hocus Pocus. And this is so cute. When you touch it, it just feels like old leather. I love all the details in the clutch. I love that you can see the eye and the book and all the stitching on the book as well. We have the back of the book. And the strap is quite long, so when I wore it last year, I made a little nut on it just so that when I was wearing it, it wouldn't be dragging too much. But I think this clutch is absolutely gorgeous. And it opens right here. Let me get that open. Here we go. And that's the inside of the clutch. So you have some space for your cards and for your phone, anything you want to put. Cute. And if you don't want to use the straps, you can simply remove them. And the cost 
of this clutch by Loungefly was $65 and they had it at Disney Springs but they also had it on Shop. All right. And since we were talking about Loungefly, I have to show you another Loungefly item. This is the newest Hocus Pocus pin by Loungefly. Loungefly has been releasing mini jumbo pins every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And I think this is just a beautiful pin. I just got this. It was $25 and it is limited edition of $1,200. It is such a cute pin. We see the three sisters flying on the broomsticks. And this is the back. Now, they did have an error on the boxes. The boxes say limited edition of 500, but really the pins are limited edition of 1200. And here we have a closer look at the pin. And it has a sliding element. And here we have the back of the pin. And as you can see, it says limited edition of 1200. And another cool feature about that lounge fly pin is that it also glows in the dark. I tried turning off the lights here to see if I could show it on camera, but it's a little hard to show on camera, but it does glow in the dark and I think it looks super cool. The next pins I am going to show you were a pin set that Shop Disney released last year, if I'm not mistaken. So this was an open edition set. We see the Sanderson sisters, we see Binks, we see the Black Flame, and the book. This is another pin, and this one is a pin from Box Launch. I got this one last year. It is the candle with the Black Flame, and it says, I lit the Black Flame candle. And the pins that we are looking at right now are from Cake Worthy. These pins were sold individually. We have the candle again. We have the eye from the book. And we have Billy's tombstone. I wanted to show a close-up of this pin because I feel like I don't see many Billy Butcherson pins out there. And yes, these pins are licensed by Disney. And next pin we have right here is my El Capitan Marquee pin. It says Hocus Pocus. I really like this pin. It's my very first marquee. This was a gift. And this pin is limited edition of 300. And the last pins I am going to show you are from the new Shop Disney mystery pin set. And I think this pin set is so, so adorable. I actually really love the packaging on these. I think they did a great job with packaging. I love that they have things at the very top. And then you see it is a six pin set. We have four pins that were known and two pins that were chasers or mysteries. And here we have the completed set. We have Winnie, Mary, Sarah, we have Binks, we have the Cauldron, and we have the three witches flying. So those are all the Hocus Pocus pins that I have. Well, there's a few more that I have, but they are inside these big shadow boxes that are kind of hard to take apart. So you should be seeing a picture right here of a few other pins that I have. But now, I want to show you the Funko Pops that I have. So far, I only have two Funko Pops, but I think they are absolutely adorable. This one right here was gifted to me, again, by Lydia over at Vintage Nectarines, who is the one that made my headband, which were part of the Year of the Ear collaboration last month. So definitely make sure that you check out that video if you haven't seen it. But it was really sweet of her to include this Funko Pop with the ears. It was only supposed to be ears, but she wanted to add an extra goodie, which I really do appreciate. So again, thank you so much, Lydia. And here we see Mary. And the last Funko Pop that I'm going to show you is from Spirit Halloween and it is one of the Funko movie moments and I really love this moment. I think it really cap 
Rapture's Hocus Pocus. And here we have the Sanderson sisters around the cauldron. And here we have a closer look. Definitely a super cool Funko Pop. And that's it, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below which one out of these items was your favorite. Let me know if you also like Hocus Pocus. And don't forget to check out everybody listed down below because everyone has amazing collections. And again, thank you to Mary and Tony from the Siskateers for putting this together. And as usual, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell so that you can keep waking up with me. Bye!